In this video, we're going to look at how teachers can create a group within Flipgrid and how pupils can join a group within Flipgrid. We'll also discuss the differences between topics and groups within Flipgrid. In Flipgrid, topics are the individual tasks or prompts which pupils can respond to with their own videos. Groups are where your topics are housed. Groups could be used to cover curricular areas such as literacy or numeracy, or you may simply wish to create a group for your entire class. Topics must be posted within a group, they cannot exist independently. To create a Flipgrid group, select the plus group button at the top right hand corner of the screen. You will then be able to name your group. In this example, I will simply name the group after my class. You can also set a theme for your group. This is simply a header image which will appear within your group. There are several defaults to choose from, or you can choose to upload your own image. Our next set of options relate to the shareable joining link. Once the group has been created, you can simply share the link with your pupils in order for them to join the group. The anyone with the link option means that any user who has access to the link can join your group without being approved. This means you can save time by not having to approve each pupil individually when they wish to join your group. It is worth noting, however, that if the link is shared with other users, then they too can join the group without your approval. If you wish to ensure that only certain pupils can join the group, then select the Only People You Approve option. The next option allows you to set an email domain for the group. By doing so, only users whose email address match this domain will be able to join your group. Type at glow.sch.uk into this box to ensure that only Glow users are able to join your group. Next, select Create Group. You are now presented with your shareable joining link. This can be copy and pasted into another document. It can be shared directly to Microsoft Teams. Or, alternatively, pupils can navigate to info.flipgrid.com and simply add the code at the end. There is also the option to have a QR code generated by selecting the QR code icon. This can then be copied and pasted into another document. After creating your group in Flipgrid, you can invite your pupils in a number of different ways. First, you can choose to copy the join code which appears at the top of the screen. This can then be pasted into another document or into Microsoft Teams for pupils to copy and paste onto the Flipgrid website. Alternatively, you can select the share button where the invite link will appear. Again, this link can be copied and again pasted into another document or shared directly into Microsoft Teams. Notice that the back half of the share link is the exact same as the join code. Also within the sharing menu is the option to produce a QR code, which again can be shared with your pupils. We will now look at the pupil experience as they join a group for the first time. So I'm currently in my web browser and I have copied my join code from a document which a teacher has shared with me. I can paste the join code into this box here on the webpage info.flipgrid.com and select the blue arrow. The group name is presented, as is my teacher's name, and I'm asked to join with Microsoft or with Google. I will choose Join with Microsoft, and I will be asked to enter my Microsoft account details. For pupils, this is simply their Glow email address. Be sure to enter the full email address and not just the Glow username. Select Next. You'll be presented with the Glow sign-in page. Pupils will simply enter their Glow password. In this group, the teacher must approve each pupil who wishes to join, so I'm presented with a button where I can send that request to the teacher. The teacher will now need to approve my request to join this group. As the teacher, I will receive an email when a pupil requests to join my group, and I will also receive a notification within Flipgrid. So I can choose to view that notification, which brings me to the request to join this particular group. If I had multiple pupils requesting to join the group, I could select Accept All, or I can choose to add pupils individually. Viewing the group again now as a pupil, looking at the request page, I can choose to refresh this page after my teacher has told me that they have approved my request to join the group. 
and then I can now view the group as a joined member. We'll now take a quick look at how pupils can join a group where anyone with a link can join and members do not have to be approved by the teacher. In this example, rather than using the share code, I'm going to enter the share link directly in the browser. Again, I've simply copied this from a document that the teacher has shared with me. Again, the name of my group and the name of my teacher is displayed on screen. I select Join with Microsoft. And again, as the pupil, I will sign in with my Glow account details. As this group is unrestricted and does not require member requests to be approved, I simply select Join group as seen here on screen. I am now a member of this group. I could respond to topics that are posted within the group. 